Yo, Dime Magazine, man, here we are once again with your man Mike T representing Big Three, man. You already know that Big Three basketball is something serious. You know, we done interviewed so many people. Now we with Mike T, man. What is going on, brother? Man, what's good? Come on, you already know, man. Thank you. It is a pleasure. It is a pleasure. Likewise. Before we even start, check out the swag. Look at the swag. That's what being in the big three does, man. <laughs> that's what it does. That, that's that swag. Yo, how, how they say God is great, man. <laughs> you know, I want to I wanna definitely, you know, get into, uh, let's take it back. Let's take it back to your humble beginnings. Um, what made you want to get into playing basketball? <laughs> that's a dope question right there. So, um, you know, I actually, for me, growing up without my father was the main reason why basketball became that father figure to me right, right. right just a misunderstanding yeah. a frustration yeah. um you know once that love is missing in the household you start to seek other places for that validation so basketball became that love for me like all of them like i say the, the frustration the misunderstanding i just not why my dad not in my life i took that that anger and i transferred it into the basketball see i'm glad you said that because for everybody out there listening, like real talk, like being able to take that certain part of anger or happiness or whatever that you're missing in one area and being able to channel it into something else. And he ch he took that piece, that certain piece and channeled it into basketball. Like a lot of us can't yeah, do that. Is, for if sure. that makes any sense. You know for sure, I mean? for sure. I mean, I, I just, for me, I just stay with that dream, that childlike imagination, okay. that dream. Still to this day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just being free in that space like that's our space right so being able to just stay attached to the dream but it's not what's a dream if you don't wake up exactly. and make it happen mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's where my passion for the game came from it's fueled from you know what i'm saying trouble beginnings hard beginnings you know what i'm saying so that's why you see me out there that's that that's that and your passion. energy is relentless like you don't stop I mean, that's yeah. that's what I know. That's my niche, right? You know, with energy, you know what I'm saying? We energetic, we energetic beings, right? So that's something that I know that is transferable, right? That's, that's priceless. You know what I'm saying? Being able to inspire the people around you on a high level. That's the, the highest act of, for, for us in this human existence, right? But, you know, coming from a spiritual place, like, man, we got so much power you, said it. you, said it. you, you know said what i'm saying it. and it starts here how we think about ourselves about our situations we know we give them some of the, the the worst cars to deal that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. they deal with us the worst cars mm -hmm. but we can we can maneuver them change them around until you know what i'm saying we playing the game that we want to play so that's just how it's been for me bro so with you now being able to, you know, channel that into, you know, something positive, especially something that's, you know, for you, helping you to stay healthy and things like that. Like what made you say, you know what, it's working for me in basketball. Like, let me see how far I can go with this. Like, did it become like a goal at that point? Um, I mean, it was always a goal for me, you know. Um, but when it really clicked for me, I want to say like around high school. Yeah. yeah. Um, watching Sebastian uh, Through the Fire. Mm. That was really the motivational for me. I kept that DVD in my book bag. Like everybody, everywhere I went, hey, got DVD player? Yeah. Pull that DVD so you're out. you're a New York native? Huh? You're a New York native? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm okay. from Milwaukee. Oh, you're from Milwaukee? I'm from okay, Milwaukee. Okay, 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 but, okay. you know, mm -hmm. Sebastian being a small guard, I was a small guard. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, then just, yeah. you know, I kind of had my city in high school on basketball. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, I want to see who the best is somewhere else. So right. now I can set my goal higher than mm -hmm. me just playing my competition yeah. in my yeah. city. Yeah. So when I was able to see that, I'm like, I can do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and excel. I can do exactly what he yeah. did. Like, yeah. so why not? Mm -hmm. So that was my going into my senior year. It's like, hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to just take everybody through the fire. I'm yeah. gonna take everybody through the fire. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's kind of when it was just like, okay, mm -hmm. you really got it. So now just start testing yourself so, every time. Just go. So you, so again, like, and it's funny you said that because that's the same energy you have on the court. You yes, don't sir. stop. You know. Sure. So now, like, now you're in college, right? Now you're in college. When did things start to become real? Like, even on a professional level. Um, mm -hmm. I believe the work ethic. Mm -hmm. 
that's when it really became real. Like what I was doing I, when I went to junior college, because I went to junior college from high school. Mm -hmm. So coming from junior college, it's like I didn't go home for two summers. I went to school in Florida. Smart, Chicago, smart. Right. So we had eight people from Chicago and then myself from Milwaukee. Right. So everybody went back home during the week. Um, I mean, during the summertime, me, I stayed because I needed to get a jump shot to further my game. You know what I'm saying? I was lightning quick, could get around anybody, but it was like I had to establish myself as a shooter. Right, right. So I stayed there and I was just was working on my game. Um, one of my friends named Devin Venerable, um, my childhood friend, I honor him. You know, he died when I was in, when I went to a, a junior, I mean, when I went to a university, right? But he was the person that, man, we, we listened to Lil Wayne albums. On the phone. Love Lil Wayne. Bro. Yeah. In 2004, 2005, oh my God. everything. Did the best of Lil Wayne. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, yeah. So so we got that love, y'all. Good yeah, game. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. So um I believe like, you know what I'm saying, from that experience that I had with him, right? Just just focusing in and locking in on my game, like bro, don't come home. Mm -hmm. We doing some reckless stuff back at the crib to to, to eat to survive. Yeah. You need to stay, stay away from this. If you can't away. make if you can't make your open jump shots, then what you doing? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was the that was the. Yo, Alejandro. Like you, I ran your time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my man. Well, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's tough. He's tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's mutual respect, bro. Right. That's what right. I like about the big three, mm -hmm. too, man. Mm -hmm. It's family. Everybody's family, man. For sure, you know? for sure. Yeah. And I ain't even a ball player, but I'm sure. getting mad love. I'm like, yo, this feels so dope. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a black owned business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we so got to give it to Cube. And I'm glad you said that because I want to ask you, you know, going into Ice Cube now, you know, obviously, you know, the situation, everybody knows what he's going through uh, with the NBA trying to block him out and trying to move forward like mm -hmm. just being able to be a part of the big three yeah. how are you able to keep your loyalty to hold loyal to Ice Cube and the big three I mean for one man it's Ice Cube right he's a fucking right. icon mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying if you if you black hip hop is a part of yeah. our yeah. makeup yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. so mm -hmm. being able to see his transition. That's what I love about Q. Like, he about to be in a Ninja Turtle, bro. Yeah. He a voice of a Ninja yeah. Turtle right now. Yeah. So he's Tell me that ain't crazy. <laughs> bro, he's constantly evolving as yeah. a black man. Yeah. So yeah. from that space, it's, it's nothing but homage at its highest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he just pioneered so much yeah. in our culture yeah. alone. You know what I'm saying? Before the big three. Right. This is something amazing here, though. Something that so, he's always been brought up with in the Yeah, moves, for sure. You know? This yeah. is... This is the culture. This is our culture. You see what I'm saying? So by him embodying that, man, I got hella respect yeah. and homage to Q because I, I played overseas for 13 years. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So not a lot of people knew who I was. I was before the internet yeah. shit became what it was, right? Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I, I, I missed that way. So a lot of people like, oh, they don't know me because I was overseas for 13 years. Yeah, overseas wasn't. Now correct yeah. so that's why I'm saying like I give a lot of homage right. and respect to right. Q because right. I was done with overseas basketball mm -hmm. just because of just how I it heard, was yeah, going the, the, like a lot of the issues the problems them not wanting to pay because you're an American and yeah yeah so yeah for Q to be able to start this league and embrace former NBA players and now just the evolution to now like YouTubers is, is getting on it's, oh, ball is life is yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. it's just it's just evolution to 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 the game yeah right yeah, it's evolving being able to bring three on three to a professional sports before the Olympics made it a thing like it's it's genius it is. you know what right. I'm saying yeah. so all homage respect to the the man. utmost yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying yeah, The utmost yeah. respect God, to Cube First so. Cube second baby <laughs> Damn near right now You know what I'm saying it's Definitely Summertime bro It's definitely something To look forward to Like right, hands right. down Now for sure, my for last sure. question to you is, is My last question to you is Is um Where do you see yourself Going from here Like meaning like Continuing in the big three I mean this year I just What's happening baby this year, I just uh, became the captain of my team. Ah, congratulations, man. Appreciate yeah. It, appreciate yeah. it. So, for me. And let everybody know what team you are. Ghost Ballers, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Go. 
<laughs> so when you hear that, y'all know it's me. You know what I'm saying? Like I Yo, keep, I keep on the call. Like it was loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it is. Yeah, that's how yeah. it is, and that's how it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this energy transfer throughout the crowd. But you know, mm-hmm. with the big three, my thing is, man, I do a lot with my nonprofit organization back in. And what's the name of your nonprofit? My not, name of my nonprofit is uh, Teller May Foundation 414. Okay. Um, dot org is where you can find information about that but also um, I have my for profit right which is Taylor for all productions where I created a comic book mm, when, when so we was talking artist. about yeah mm. uh, another artist in the building for sure, for sure. another artist I kind of <laughs> weird you know what I'm saying like everything that I do yeah it's it's expression it's the way that I you see what I'm saying it's the way that I express myself I'm also an artist correct we all are as black people bro we are visually you know what I'm saying at a we we the culture every other culture want to idolize what we bring you see what I'm saying so what's 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 for me in the big three I just believe just getting my message out there right when we talking about that first question you asked me about what led me to basketball like without part of my story is a mental health story yes you see what i'm saying going growing up in poverty that's that's walking undiagnosed mental health issues that we have as a culture so breaking down the stigma like this is what mental health look like you know what I'm saying? I'm working out every day. I didn't know basketball was a therapy. Mm-hmm. But when it becomes a business, now it sucks that love and that passion out up out of it, right? You, it's funny you yeah. just said that. Yeah. So being able to mm-hmm. find and constantly yeah. find the love yeah. you know, and doing something, right? It's funny you mention that because we talked to uh, uh, Royce. We talked to Royce White. We talked to Katino Mobley, Lisa Leslie. Uh, we talked to uh, Nancy Lieberman. I mean, so many people that also touch bases on what you just said. The mental illness not being diagnosed yet. Correct. With the mental disability or whatever mm-hmm. they choose to call it, sure. but then us growing up in poverty, Correct. we are not knowing that. Correct. You know, you just you just stated that yeah. it's a, it's a whole lot of. I mean, I I come from it. Yeah. I got family yeah. members. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it hit home personally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, for me, it hit home. I suffer from depression, suffer from anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Being in the NBA and making your dreams come true, and then what's after that? Right. You see what I'm saying? Like so, a lot of athletes go through these phases of depression and uh, and anxiety and just you know what I'm saying having a, a healthy healthy coping mechanisms you know what I'm yeah, saying like that's what I'm that's what I'm about you know what I'm saying breaking down this stigma on, talking please. about mental health yeah talking about speaking to a therapist mm-hmm. talking about yoga breath work meditation that shit is saving my life yeah it's putting me in a peace of mind yeah it's giving me a peace of mind mm-hmm. so now that I can focus and be intentional being a better man better husband better father better brother you know what I'm saying it's it's always about off the court it's rarely about on the court you see what I'm saying like they never really question what you do on the court Right. it's about what you do off Off the court court. that jeopardizes you getting on that court your character off the court yeah and that's what I'm building bro so I gotta but with my comic book I got a character development program I developed a curriculum Mm -hmm. to start teaching the kids about knowledge of self Mm -hmm. Once you know yourself, then it's gonna be easier for you to learn. Exactly. School ain't gonna be nothing once you know yourself. Exactly. So that's nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So being able to teach them the emotional intelligence, the emotional, social emotional learning is what my comic book is back behind. Social emotional learning, restorative justice, and mental health awareness. Well, so being what? able to share my story through that. So it's the underworld, it's the indomitable legacy of the underworld goat. And I tell my story through this comic book and getting it off to the youth. Now, is the comic book done yet? It's done. It's so, done. once again, can you let everybody know where they can pick up your comic book? So, my comic book can be picked up at my on my website. It's MikeTaylor88.com. M-I-K-E-T-A-Y-L-O-R, the number 88.com. So your social media? My social media is uh, Instagram, uh, 88 Mike Taylor, and then Facebook is just Mike Taylor. Mike Taylor... Um, on Twitter too okay. So yeah yep. My last question to you Let's do it 50th year mm. Hip hop mm. What does that mean to you In three words Ooh Mmm Three words Three words you can only use three <laughs> I want to say Real American history Mmm 
fuck a black history. Yeah. We've yeah. been black. Right. But it's real American history. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just yeah. listened to that new Nas album, mm -hmm. man. And Nas say he 50 years old and hip hop is 50. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's it's just like, that's legendary status, bro. They said that was going to phase out in four years. You know what I'm saying? And look how long it's been. We even took over. We even took over country. We taking over pop. We taking over everything, bro. You know what Yo, I'm saying? Like the hip hop, man. Come to on, another, man. To another 50 years. <laughs> to another. To another. We ain't gonna die. We yeah, multiply. Yeah. You said it. Come yeah, on now. Yeah. So now it's coming back to real rap now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people are really rapping now, mm -hmm. telling their stories. Mm -hmm. The gimmicky stuff is yeah. starting to wash away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's getting back to its art. Yeah. So now, you know what I'm saying? It's the evolution. Every 50 years, things is, things change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now it's getting back to its roots. So a lot of independent rappers, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm loving the evolution of all of this shit, bro. So, man, man appreciate y'all for uh, Don Magazine, baby. <laughs> you hear me? Mike Taylor checking out with Don Magazine. You understand me, baby? Yes, sir. Hey, listen, this is what it is. When you're dealing with people like Mike Taylor, Mike T, the only thing is to understand is this. This man is legendary. He's doing his thing. The newest captain, making it happen. That means that he's official and he's always a main official on and off the court. Hey, also, too, mm -hmm. I was the first player in NBA history to be drafted from the G League to the NBA. But it was the D League at the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I did that in 2008. So it's about to be 20 years coming around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So everything that I'm doing is just putting me in position so I can narrate and tell my story the right way. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm really ready. I'm really focused. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking to take my LLC into a corporation and really, you know what I'm saying, show the genius behind everything that I've really been doing is just not on the court. It's really everything off the court. You know what I'm saying? Big dog status so, right here. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Come on, man. We love you too, brother. You know what? And it's people like this guy right here. We got to at least put the camera on him. It's people like him. It's people like him that keep us successful, man. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. We got we to gotta give Miss Flowers. This is Mac right here. This is Mac right here. That's the OG. That's the man. Thank you, my brother. Yes, yes, yes. Say that one more, say that one more time. Thank you, my brother. Peter Shoe. He is. We've been around each other. Yes. Peter Shu, thank you for looking out. Thank you for making things happen. You already know we've been rocking for years. And for you to put them, put us next to great people like this. Marcella, Come on. Ice Cube. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> <London. laughs> you already know what it is, man. Big shout out, man. Time Magazine. This is what we do. We keep making it happen. Boom.